All right, let's talk a second about process priority. You've got all kinds of different processes going on your system. Some of them are more important than others. And depending on what you do with your system, the way you apply it, whatever you're doing, you can have processes that have different priorities. Let's say you're an engineer and you have some kind of big calculation that you need to run. And you're like, well, this is going to be very processor intensive and probably take four or five hours to run, but I've just got to have it sometime by next week. What you can do is start that process with a lower priority, which means here run this when you don't have anything better to do, computer. If somebody comes in and, and wants to do something, give them um, priority over yourself. And middle of the night, um, somebody goes to lunch, whatever the downtime is, instead of doing nothing, do this process and, uh, just, to, just to stay busy. That's one way. Um, the other side of that is what if you set up a Linux box as an asterisk server? There I'll plug asterisk a little bit. Asterisk is a PBX. You wouldn't want somebody sitting down and writing a letter on your PBX. You wouldn't want somebody sitting down and playing the game of solitaire on it. So what you could do is say, okay, here's a Linux box. Here run asterisk. Run it at such a, a priority that everything else is sacrificed nearly just for that that process that is your entire job you be a PBX and don't fool with anything else so that way you can give it a very high priority okay in Linux and it's kinda silly it's called niceness you're being more nice if you have if you're letting people ahead of you and less nice if you are jumping ahead of other processes so consequently if the niceness level is a negative 20 that's as high as it goes that is the least nice you can be. I, am, I have a negative niceness. That means that you're not giving up processor cycles for anybody. You're the bad guy. If you become more and more and more nice up toward 19, that's what I'm trying to tell you here, the, the range goes from negative 20 to 19, then you are being more and more and more nice and letting people in ahead of you. Um, in the engineer's example, you may set that to run up at, to run at the process priority of 18 or 19. Say, so just anybody has anything ahead of me, run it. Just run, run mine when you're just completely bored with nothing else to do. Um, a user, if just a normal dude user logs in and starts a game of solitaire, it's going to run as as, pros, as as a priority of zero, just dead in the middle. So he can do whatever. A regular user could then at that point re-nice his process and scoot it down out of the way to say, okay, I want to give other people priority. I'm going to move myself down to a positive 10. I will become more nice. Once you've done that, a regular user can't go back up. A regular user can never make their process less nice. He can continue to push it further and further and further and make it nicer and nicer until everybody likes it but he can never go back up. He can also, regular user, can never start a process with a negative niceness. At that point you're getting into the, the operating systems range. Only root can set a negative process ID. So, having said all that, let's whip back out my busy program. Busy.sh. There we go. And we got some, some of the same old commands. PSA AUX grep for busy and normally if it's been niced there is an N right there but there's not but I can see that it is processed why are there two of them running is my question ah oh, somebody hollers out the answer one of them is stopped so what, what do I need to do kill percent one that one was actually there from before very good so now if I go back yep all I've got is my grip let's try that one more again so that I know what I'm doing okay now I know that its process ID is 6992 and it's not been niced uh, another new program top Top is like a process monitor. In Windows, when you do Control Alternate Delete, bring up the uh, Task Manager, and you can see your list of processes and, and, and what they're doing. 
it's the same sort of thing. So these are all my processes and and what they're doing and different information. How much processor uh, percentage you're taking, memory percentage, their niceness, that's what this column is. Process ID and user. Now one thing you can do is say D for delay. Right now it updates every three seconds. I'm going to set it to update every quarter second. So we can watch it in a more real time kind of a manner and see what's taken up all my time. Apparently update DB is running back there somewhere. This is top. Yeah. And of course you've got all kinds of statistics up here too. And when you're done with it, you can say Q. Let's say you try to hit your web server from the house one night. And you hit it and the access is dog and slow. One of the things you may do is to SSH into the box and immediately do a top to see what's going on, to see, okay, what is taking up all of my processor time? Is it a bandwidth thing or is my processor overheated? Uh, you can do that. Sometimes you'll find out just this. It was doing an update DB or it was doing some kind of system maintenance task and it's a temporary thing that you don't have to worry about. If you saw a command that said um, hacker root kit, you could say, oh no, somebody's got in and is running some kind of evil program and it's taking up all my processor cycles and it's sitting doing there something evil. So anyway, that's, that's something that you can tell what's, what's going on. I can also do top dash p to give it a process ID let's see if I remember that right 6992 is busy its niceness is zero I'm gonna say D 0.25 there we go it's not doing a whole lot it's a busy little program but it doesn't take up a whole lot of processor time I'm gonna say quit okay I'm going to do this again control C I'm gonna start it in a different way I'm gonna say nice dash five that's a dash now this is gonna be kinda of goofy nice uses a dash if you read nice and put in a dash it takes it as a negative so it's a little bit funky so I am nicing this to a positive five so if you want to do a negative five you would actually do that a little goofy it looks like the two commands will be the same they're not pooey nice um, busy. So have the same process going. The machine's not doing a whole lot, so you're not going to see a big difference. But when I come back over here, process ID is probably not the same. P S A U X, grep, busy. This time it is 9763. So I'm going to say top dash P 9763. And there we go. The big difference being now we see a niceness value of five. I have created a nicer process. If somebody else comes in and wants to run a calculator, a default user, if I just start a program, it's going to run with, with a process ID of zero. So it's going to get priority over my process that's running with a process ID of five. So that's kind of lining things up. Another thing that I'll show you is PSAUX. I did that just a second ago, didn't I? One would think. Notice now the big N saying that the thing has been re-niced. It's not running with the normal niceness. It's somebody's monkeyed with it. Okay. <clears throat> process is still cranking right along, but I have decided, oh, this process all of a sudden has jumped up in priority. My boss came in and said, your script is very important. I can do a re-nice, and if I say dash 5 this time, I remember it's goofy, it's going to take this as a negative 5. And what was my process ID? Yeah, I forgot it. Uh, 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 uh. 679763. 9763. So I am re-nicing on the fly that to a 9763. Old priority 5, new priority negative 5. So if I do a PS, AUX, grep, check that out. Now I have that for a symbol. So it's less than zero for a priority. And I'll do my top command again. 
ran a little bit slower that time because the machine is very dedicated to running that process. So now, regular user starts a process. It comes in as process um, niceness of zero. My process has priority over it. So they're just going to have to wait. Okay. All right, I took a second out there to kind of remember what I, how to do this inside top. Um, where we're at is we're running this process over here. And I'm going to say top, give it the process ID, and there it is running. Now, one of the things I did was I changed its niceness to 10. I couldn't remember the, the key sequence. You'd say R to re-nice, and you can say 9763, which is the process ID. And I'm going to change its niceness back to negative 8, pal. Now you can see my niceness is negative 8. And I can do other things. See how nice and quick that is? All right, I'm fixing to end up the lecture here. So, um, of course, let's run it into the ground. I'm going to do a re-nice of this, 9763, re-nice it to a negative 12. I'm making the thing more and more and more important. I can still open the terminal. It wasn't quite as fast, maybe. Um, let's re-nice it some more, 9763. I'm going to say negative 17. And you can see even updating this is starting to get kind of boggy. I had it, I'd, cha I'd use D for the, to change its update to 0.25. Right click, open terminal, a little bit slower. All right, let's, let's go all the way. It's really nice. 9763, we'll go almost all the way. Negative 19. It still did it. You, yeah, it's there's not much. It's such a tiny little program. It doesn't have time. I, I think even if we go to twenty, it's 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 sleeping. The majority of this is actually sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna say quit and just do top by itself, and that should. It's on up there. But I'm going to say D.25. Yeah, my example's kind of got a flaw in it because the, 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 yeah, the program itself is just sleeping is all it's doing. It's hard to get real busy sleeping. Okay. I could have this is going to work. I'm having it just count and echo the count to the screen. That's going to keep it more busy. Um, I'm trying to do something. Just I don't want to fork bomb the thing, but anyway. Colon, right quit. So now when I say busy, it's it's doing nothing. That's not so pretty good. Oh, and my, my video was going so well. That Yeah, that'll keep it nice and busy for a while. I rewrote my script and just nested a loop so that it will just keep it, keep it good and busy printing stuff to the screen. So let's, let's start off this, just to review our commands. I'm going to say nice and give it a dash 10 of busy.sh. Now what does that mean? That actually starts it at a positive 10 because nice takes that as a dash. And there we go, nice polite process. And now I'm going to use top um, to see what's going on. And let me do it this way. I'm going to say PSAUX grep for busy. And its process ID is now 14517. They're getting bigger, aren't they? Uh, no, 14517. 14522 is actually the grep that I was doing. Um, top with a process ID of 14517. There we go. Its niceness is 10. And I'm going to say R to re nice. 14.517, and I'm going to give it a negative 10. And yeah, its CPU usage is, is open the terminal. There, now my terminal is taking a long time to come up. Yeah, now even my mouse is 
Yeah, it's I'm, I'm actually clicking and dragging, and it's not working. So that was only a niceness of 10. Yeah. So let's quit out of this. I've hit Q twice. It's just slow to respond. This is why I saved this till the end of the lecture. I wanted to, to see it in terms with the other. Now just top. It's getting kind of hard to top. T-O-P, yeah. I think I just typed in top. top. Yeah, what you would actually have to do, and I've done this before, have to go in and re-nice the process to something more sane. <laughs> it took that long to figure out I typed in top, top. But again, you can see the niceness was only a negative 10, but once we got a process that wanted a lot of processor time, it gave it to it. So, R-E-N-I-C-E, -E, I'm just looking at my keys now, and I'm going to say 10 of, gosh, well, okay, 14. 517 and now I can just sit and wait for it to there we go now I've got my command prompt back I can open terminals I back that guy back down again there we go but top now I can see it in terms of the others D.25 to make it update more yeah top getting in there and just as a grand finale D yeah 0.25, that's not what I wanted. Renice, 14, 517. Negative, 19. Badoom. <laughs> uh, this back, did this back here speed up too? Boy, it is. It's cranking now. Yeah. I've actually done this before too, like um, when I had a slower computer and I wanted to run a high def video and the, the computer just didn't have quite enough oomph to, to run it and I cheated and went in and gave it a process ID that was just dramatically high and it ran better. Of course, you couldn't do anything else on it at the time. But anyway, there's an example of process IDs. Um, I'll do a PDF that has all of our, has a kind of a rundown of the commands.